In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best blitz beaters as well as one of the best man beaters in the game. It comes to us out of the gun tight. And we actually in the Lions playbook, you can find this also in the Commander's offensive playbook. Um, but if you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, I do believe that it's one of the better formations of the game this year. Whether you're running tight, tight offset, tight slots, we have ebooks for all those formations in the Patreon. You can become a member today for just 10 bucks, and it'll get you access to everything. All of those different ebooks as well as several uh, updates that we've dropped. But gun tight and the play we're going to be taking a look at is the play slot post. Now, I'm uh, gonna do something a little bit different with this play, uh, but it's gonna make it really good against the blitz and really good against man coverage. So uh, what we're gonna do, and generally speaking, when I run this setup, I like to have my tight set, uh, my running back to the wide side of the field if possible. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag our tight end, we're gonna wheel our running back, and then we're going to slot apprentice post our left side receiver so you see this is what the play looks like and then we're just going to motion this receiver to the outside and our first read is this kind of mesh over the middle if we can hit this mesh over the middle whether it be to the tight end route or whether it be and you can also feel free to change that that uh drag to a slant so it can be a drag a slant an in anything like that the slant will sometimes get more uh, across the formation you just want to pick the best route for your receiver in terms of his uh, it's interesting um you know shorter tight ends will run drags better taller tight ends will run in routes better but basically we're just creating the mesh concept over the middle and then we have this post uh as well as this clear out streak so you see here that in route is also really good as it can attack man coverage across the middle of the field, uh, giving us the ability to be able to beat man that way. Now, another thing that's popular, a lot of people like to do, is they like to basically blitz out of man coverage. And so this is a really good play against a really any blitz, whether it be a man blitz or zone blitz. Uh, but what you'll see here is if that corner goes with that outside player and that linebacker blitzes, there's really nobody that's gonna be able to stop this quick throw. Even if they get a man switch, which is what you just saw, um, even if they get a man switch, it's still really hard uh, for them to be able to, to defend the running back route. So feel free to, you know, again, we're reading out here. Our first read is this wheel and then our to our running back wheel. So you see, you just throw it real quick. A lot of times that receiver will block for you and it becomes a really, really, really good quick pass um against any of these sin five pressures now if you let's say you're playing someone and they're playing a dollar this is pretty much dollar here um the only difference is this guy would be here and then this guy would you know maybe be in here you know and the and the adjustments would be something like uh, something like this you know for example so let's say something like this, um, your running back will still have leverage to the to the right side of the screen. So again, if, let's just hypothetically, if it is dollar, all you wanna do is you're just gonna highball this running back route to the outside. And sometimes he will be able to catch that. It does depend a little bit on like who they're using. Um, because if they're using, you know, if it's a nickel set, it's actually probably a little easier than if it was a dollar set. But some of it does depend a little bit on who they're using. But anyway, the point is, if they do cover the running back, then you want to look over the middle and try to hit this in route super quick over the middle of the field. Because typically what will happen is they're still, once they see that, that running back's on a wheel, they'll almost always still jet to the flat. And then that leaves the middle of the field completely open, whether it be zone or man pressure. So... You know, again, I'm looking out right, they go right, then I'm going to look back left and try to hit that tight end on an in route or a little drag route coming over the middle. Now, the same thing is true in terms of zones. So, like, let's say, you know, let's say we get, you know, something like this, for example. And let's do, let's say we have a setup like this from a zone perspective. So if it's a zone blitz, you're still basic. It's actually probably even a little bit easier. So if it's a zone blitz, we know that that hard flat defender is going to go outside with the wheel route. So we look to the right. We see, oh, there's that pocket. We'll throw in that pocket all day long, and we'll take our 10 to 15 yards against zone pressure. Now, something that you will see people do um, in terms of how they want to play you in zone is, again, let's say that the user darts to the outside, 
you know, and they are running a blitz like this. So let's just say the user runs to go guard the running back because he knows that's his primary responsibility um, in a zone coverage scenario, especially if they're sending pressure. Same thing. He goes there. Middle of the field is open. Either one of those drag routes, you can hit over the middle. Now, another thing that you might see from time to time is a zone defense like this. And hopefully we'll have enough time to hit this route. This is why I love to run this to the wide side. So what you'll see with A.J. Green here is when he goes, when he fades out to the outside, what you should be able to do is high ball up and outside and you can throw that over the top of any kind of cloud or cover two coverage uh, that you might get over in that area of the field. So all that to say, like now they have to kind of realistically drop eight and they still have to use with the running back because the flat zones are still gonna pull out to go guard AJ Green. So when they go to the running back, now guess what? It leaves these middle of the field open. You can either hit Harold Carmichael on his drag or you can hit your tight end coming over the middle of the field as well. And then the the last route that I want to show you you guys is let's say you know, let's say they get real serious about their underneath coverage. They're still going to use with the back, but they're really starting to – maybe they have two hook curl defenders to try to take away the mesh routes, which is rare. But if they do that, um, then what you're going to be able to notice here is this is drop eight. So their user is now going to come out of the middle field. And I got to high point that, but that post route is going to get in behind the L's. So all you got to do um, to keep that from getting intercepted – is basically just simply throw the ball with a high point over the middle of the field. The beauty of slot apprentice post routes in this year's game is they get under deep thirds because they're so sharp. And so they're going to run super flat. So high point, catch it just like that. And then now your offense has really opened up from a simple mesh concept. And then the beauty of this, if you think about it in terms of a schematics, is now they're running a lot of underneath coverage, right? So now what we can do is we can do something kind of similar. So we can run a play like this, but now we're on the left side going to run a, a corner route and run it like this. So it's, it looks exactly the same, except now look what we're able to attack. We're able to attack the sideline on the short side of the field. So this is a really well-rounded play out of tight to be able to attack a lot of different things your opponent might be doing defensively. If you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon by clicking the link down below.